Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a part of the future of aviation, electric aviation. And it could be way closer than you think. We're going to be taking a look at several electric aircraft that have been announced in recent years. Aircraft like Aviation Alice. The aircraft is completely electric powered with Israel being its national origin. An aircraft like Alice is just one end of the spectrum when it comes to electric aviation. Alice is made of 95% lightweight, all composite material, and in aviation, composite materials are usually fiber reinforced plastics. The fiber is Kevlar, carbon fiber, or fiberglass soaked in a plastic resin. Many times the materials are laminated or stacked in layers and bonded together for additional strength. And the reason I go into detail on those composite materials, it's due to the fact that the batteries in these aircraft are so heavy and the lightweight build of these aircraft make up for it. The battery for the Aviation Alice, which is a lithium ion 920 kilowatt hour battery, weighs an impressive 7,930 pounds or 3,600 kilograms. That's 56% of its maximum takeoff weight of 14,000 pounds or 6,350 kilograms. Alice has a useful load of 2,500 pounds or 1,134 kilograms. It can carry nine passengers with an additional two crew members. It requires 3,000 feet or 914 meters to take off. It has a service ceiling of 12,500 feet with a cruising altitude of 10,000 feet and a cruise speed of 240 knots. It has a range of 540 nautical miles with 45 minutes IFR reserves. Aviation says that their mission is to build an aircraft that creates new market opportunities, challenging the limits of air travel use in a scalable, sustainable, and economically viable way. Next, there's the E-Caravan. It's a Cessna 208B Grand Caravan retrofitted with a 750 horsepower all-electric motor developed by a Redmond headquartered company called Magni X. The aircraft was converted by Magni X and Aerotech. The CEO of Magni X said, The iconic caravan has been a workhorse of the industry moving people and transporting goods on short routes for decades. This first flight of the E-Caravan is yet another step on the road to operating these middle mile aircraft at a fraction of the cost with zero emissions from and to smaller aircraft. These electric commercial aircraft will enable the offering of flying services of people and packages in a way previously not possible. Choosing the Cessna Grand Caravan was very intentional Let's find the aircraft that everyone in the world knows, uses, and loves. Let's make it electric, and let's make it the Tesla of the air. Leading the charge in the electric era of aviation, Magni X conducted the first flight test of the 750 horsepower Magni 500 all-electric propulsion system on the Cessna 208B Grand Caravan in Moses Lake, Washington on Thursday, May 28, 2020, at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The Magni X team, together with their partners at Aerotech, have been working on magnifying the aircraft and converting it from its gas-guzzling, emission-creating old self to an all-electric, low-operating cost, clean aircraft. The E-Caravan will showcase one of the world's most used middle-mile aircraft going all-electric. Now, we're going to be taking a look at the Pipistrel Alpha Electra. It's a two-seat electric trainer with performance mainly focused for flight training. We are really starting to see electric aviation at every level in the industry. The Alice in commercial air travel, the E-Caravan in commercial and cargo transport, and now the Electro in flight training. This aircraft delivers an 85 knot cruise speed at 75% power with a best climb speed of 76 knots and a max climb rate of 1,220 feet per minute. It has a service ceiling of 12,800 feet. The engine for this aircraft 
is the Pipistrel PEM 60 MVLC. And I did mention this in another video, but it's really good to see companies that are daring to change the way we fly. If you haven't seen my video on the Solera 500L, you should definitely check it out because they have a similar goal in mind, but it's done in a drastically different way. They went for speed, altitude, range, while still being able to bring the cost of private travel down a ton. But that aircraft isn't electric in its current form, although they do eventually plan to implement electric propulsion. These aircraft are showcasing that aviation will be so different in the future. What are your thoughts on these aircraft? Have you ever seen or heard of these aircraft before this video? Do you think this really is the future of flight? I'd also like to know if you personally agree with going all electric in aviation. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator, and I'm out.